All right, this is video number three on the house renovation in Hampton. As you can see, the gutters have been removed, removed them from the entire house, including the garage. All the shutters in the front here have also been removed, including the shutters around the front door. That's because we have prepped it for painting. So the aluminum siding on this house is not in terrible shape. Um, so we didn't feel it really needed to be replaced. We did, however, feel like it needed to be painted because there are some scrapes and scuffs. So, the painter was here today, started painting in the back. He'll be finishing the sides in the front tomorrow, but I'll take you to the back. I'm gonna pause the video and let you see what the new color will look like. Okay, here is the new color, nice pretty gray. He also resprayed all of the white trim so that it's now white. The garage door will be replaced and the frame will be wrapped, so he didn't mess with that. As you can see here, again, nice gray color, uh, and then white, the white was repainted white. Again, the gutters have been removed. Once he's finished, I'll be calling the window guy and he'll come out and put the windows in and wrap them. He'll also, they'll also come out and redo the, the, uh, the gutters on the rest of the house. This is a little outbuilding. You can see he painted that gray as well. And again, touched up the, uh, the gutters and downspouts nice and white. And again, here's the garage. So you can see what that looks like. Again, the white just pops now. And again, those windows will be replaced. So he's just spraying right over the edges of the windows. Those will be replaced and wrapped. Here's the back of the house. You can see I removed the, uh, the ugly aluminum porch that was above the back door. And I also removed the ugly aluminum porches or the aluminum covers that were over these side windows. So there's the original yellow. This side has not been painted. And there's the gray. You can see the difference. And also the white's been painted on the sides, but not the gray. All right, let's head back inside. I'll show you what we've got finished in here. <clears throat> so, you remember we talked, I think, I know we made some changes since the last video, so I didn't watch the last video again, so some of this may be incorrect, but this is what we finally decided to do. So we went ahead and framed in, as you can see, this wall. This was completely open, so we went ahead and framed that in, left a little over 36 inch opening right here uh, to the back of the house. So everything here, of course, is unchanged. All the bedrooms are down there. Uh, that'll all stay the same. Uh, but this went into this dining room area, and of course there was a wall back here. There's the new header. So we put a header in there, completely removed that wall. And then we also removed these two small walls. You can see the indentations on the floor there. There was a wall across there as well. And this was all part of the wall on the other side. That was the original kitchen. You can see right there, that's still the original plug for the range. So all that's been removed now really opened up the floor plan. So what we did was we went ahead and built in, framed in, in front of the furnace. And you can see that right there. That's a five foot opening for a five foot bifold door. The water heater is gonna go back in that corner, right back here, tucked out of the way. And then right here in the center section will be a stack washer and dryer. We had talked about opening up that wall to the living room, giving access from the living room. We decided against that for a lot of reasons uh, and decided instead just to put them in this utility room this five foot bifold door opens up, give you plenty of access to a nice stack washer and dryer there. So we're gonna end up putting in 220 over here for the dryer, also a dryer vent, and then also 110 and hot and cold water and drain for the washer. Then we also, I don't know if you remember, but in this corner right here, there was a very narrow little broom closet. It was about one foot wide. It opened up right here alongside the window. We removed all of that as well and then framed in this wall as well leaving about a 36 inch opening between the post and the end of this wall so this will be our kitchen so the new frame wall across the back into that corner and then across this way and then i extended the wall out a little bit to give us a little more room for cabinets and it also creates a little bit of a break between here and the back door. So the back door doesn't just, it just kind of looked odd 
So this will break it up a little bit. Another thing, nice thing about that too is once you come in the back door, you'll have a little bit of a wall here and you could put, you know, uh, uh, a hall tree for, for coats. You could also put a nice, uh, one of those kind of benches with a high back where you can hang coats and put your shoes underneath. Be a good place for that. So, uh, so the kitchen will now go in this area. So the stove will be first right here, the microwave above. And then next to that, in this corner, will be a Lazy Susan. And then next to that, under the, under the window, will be the sink. And then to the right of the sink will be the dishwasher, so you'll have counter space there. And then another corner Lazy Susan, so you'll have plenty of counter space in both corners. And then you'll have the refrigerator. Um, so the Lazy Susan will come over about three feet, and then you'll have the refrigerator right in this area here. And then beside that, you're gonna have another, I think it's 36 inches of base cabinets. And then of course, 36 inches of upper cabinets. You'll have uppers that go above your refrigerator. You'll have a nice corner upper over here. Over here, you'll have a nice corner upper. And then you'll have a, I think it's a one foot, and then a bridge across your um, range. And then of course, a microwave hanging right below that so that'll be the kitchen so we're really excited about that i think it's gonna be a nice kitchen uh very functional three-point uh kitchen and then uh, very open of course to this main living room and then over here since we've got a wall here now uh it leaves this little and, and, a, and a, you know, a little over two foot wall right here it leaves a nice area here to put another cabinet so we're going to put a 66 inch set of base cabinets and then a nice a uh, couple of uppers and then in the middle there's going to be some shelving and some cubbies and a neat little system there this is basically going to be a coffee bar um, so it'll just be a place to store pots and pans some extra storage for your kitchen as well as your coffee pot and uh, cups and all that stuff for your coffee so it'll be a nice little coffee bar area there there is water here from the previous sink we could put a small sink in here we're not sure if we're going to do that it is an option however so we're gonna make a decision on that. Uh, so you'd have kind of a wet bar. So that is the, uh, the situation as it sits uh, right now. We're ready for electrical. So we're gonna start rewiring. Uh, I've got some electricians coming in to give me some quotes to, to get everything rewired back here. We're gonna be moving this switch here, which operates this light. It'll go right here in this wall. And then we have another switch here that operates the kitchen light. That of course will go on the other side of this wall. And then we have a three-way switch, which works right now, it's a fan, but that'll have a light kit or, or we may just replace it with a light, but there'll be a light there. So that's a, this is a three-way switch. And also back by the back door is the other half of that three-way switch. And that will go right here in this column. Uh, so we've got to make those changes uh, to the electrical. We already have a dedicated circuit here for the refrigerator, so that works out well. We are going to add a couple more outlets, one back here, one back in this corner, to give some outlets for um, the cabinets. Um, I see, is there anything I'm missing? I think that's probably it for now. Uh, so that's where we are. Uh, we'll keep you posted. Oh, uh, I did have to do some more work on the floor, so as you recall, I talked about putting 8th inch Luon over this part of the floor to make it match up with this part of the floor. There was a height difference between this part and this part. This part here was higher than this part here by an eighth of an inch. So I was gonna bring this up. But what I discovered when I removed this wall was that this floor was also an eighth of an inch higher than this floor, which goes to the rest of the house. So if I used the Luon, I would have to put it through the entire house. So what I found was there were multiple layers of half inch plywood right here. And so I removed the top layer of half-inch plywood, and then I'm going back over that. You can see right here, there's a slight difference. I'm going over that then with uh, quarter-inch plywood, and that makes everything line up perfectly. Um, so once I get this wiring done right here and get these wires off the floor, I'll fill that in, go and bring this quarter-inch plywood um, all the way across, to right there and across that opening to bridge those two floors. And that will give us one continuous floor throughout the entire house. So we'll be able to put 
uh, a nice luxury vinyl or laminate throughout the entire house, one continuous. You could roller skate through this whole house if you wanted to. Um, so that's it. Uh, I will update you again here soon, uh, probably a little sooner than this video because of the holidays. Uh, we took a little time off, uh, but we're back at it. So uh, we'll look forward to talking to you in the next installment.